super easy project to share with you tonight. I recently participated in the blog hop for SISIX. And so this is a project made from Eileen Hull's tree toppers. And I thought I'd quickly show you tonight how I embossed on the envelope. So I'm going to head on over to my craft cam. So here we go. I have, I think I just did this last Wednesday night where I showed you how to apply the alcohol inks onto mat board. This was a coated mat board to create a little box. So that was one of the projects that I featured in that blog hop. And here's the little treat topper, which is a die cut. And as part of the blog hop, Eileen pre-cut those for us and they came in white. And so what I did is I used my alcohol ink to color it up. And so what I wanted to show you tonight is I love these glassine envelopes. And they're really pretty plain, but when you emboss them, they're really cool look also. So I'm using my Sizzix Texture Boutique to do that. And let me just shift everything around here because what you need to see is when it comes out back. I am using the embossing folder and all you need to do is put your glassine envelope. Of course, you could use your regular paper, cardstock to do embossing, but I wanted to be able to put some goodies inside to the envelope. So I'm placing this between the two pads and I have the little um, the, the little white piece. Oh gosh, the name of it totally slips my mind right now. Maybe somebody in the chat room can help. It's just um, a, a piece that helps when you're embossing to add one more little layer. Shim, thank you. It shows you how quick and easy you can add some really cool texture to your glassine envelopes. Isn't that pretty? And here's something else that I realized, and I'm going to go ahead and put this through too. I picked up these clear bags at my sister Candace's studio, and I'm pretty sure these are food grade bags. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can emboss these. So let's do that. Put it between my two embossing pads. I put the shim in there. I may not even need the shim on a plastic envelope, but let's give this a try here. Look at that. Isn't that fun? You can even add texture onto these thick pieces of plastic. So what I'm doing with this envelope is I thought it'd be really cool to put some tub tea into this and I know we're really past the main gift giving of the year and the holidays so these would be pretty just to um, fill with your mixture of herbs and put into a really pretty bowl in near the bath and so what I have here is I have chamomile and rose and lavender and I always recommend that you use organic herbs and just drop them into your envelope. And yes, it's time for us to start thinking ahead for those holidays. So these make a lovely gift for Valentine's and Mother's Day. When you actually use these, you don't want to drop them directly, these herbs directly into the bathtub because they'll just stick to you. So you can put them into a muslin bag or you can put them into a washcloth. That, um, that you can secure. And they make such, and just get them to go a little bit flatter in there, and they make such a pretty little presentation for your herbs. And you can put your topper on. This is one that I actually sat on, and so it broke. But you could see how if you wanted to, you could attach it to the top. You can certainly run some ribbons through. and. So that is my super easy project tonight.